Hey ladies, welcome to our Junk to Spunk series. I'm Stacy, and over the next five days, I'm gonna take you through a little journey where we're gonna get rid of our junk and get you back your spunk because who doesn't wanna feel a little bit spunkier during the fall? Okay, so how many of y'all have that makeup bag or drawer or basket or something that has old makeup that you don't use anymore but you just can't seem to part with? Or how many of you are using makeup that doesn't work for you but you spent good money on it and you just don't wanna get rid of it? Well, here's my bag. My bag full of products that I don't use anymore. Some of this stuff is God knows how old. And uh, when I started on my journey with Unique seven or eight months ago, seven months ago, um, I was using a variety of things. I was using CoverGirl, I was using Revlon, I had some Avon stuff, I had, um, I think I had some beauty control stuff, so a variety. I wasn't name brand specific, which I know a lot of people are, but I definitely am now, because I replaced everything now with Unique products. So let me just we'll take a little trip and see what I have in this bag. I have my trash can here, so I'm gonna get rid of it with you right in front of me. Okay, this is Rodin and Fields Reverse Deep Exfoliating Wash. And there's really not a lot left in it. Um, I don't know, Rodin Fields is a good brand. I just, it's really expensive and I didn't use it that much. So, in the trash. And it's old. Um, a new clinical advanced dermabrasion system. I think this is Avon, if I'm not mistaken. Trash. Let's see what else we have in here. Here's some more rodent and fields. I guess it was in a pack. Yeah, this um, says step one and this says step three. I don't know where step two is. This is skin lightening treatment. Trash. Okay. Revlon color stay. And this color did not stay. This did definitely not stay on my face all day long. And look, it's not even the right color. So not sure what I was thinking when I bought this. Trash. Um, cover girl. Powder. Wow, that's nasty. Can you see all those little dark spots on it and balls? God only knows how old this is. This might be five, ten years old. Trash. Let's see what other goodies we have in here. Um, but, uh, see, I'm putting stuff back like I don't want to get rid of it. Okay, let me see some more goodies. Okay, here we go. A lip gloss balm something so goopy and sticky this stuff was nasty but i threw it in here like i'm gonna use it again throw that away and i'm gonna go through this some more but that's you know kind of sums up what i have in there because i think we all have that we all have that bag of stuff we don't want to let go with that we don't like but we think oh we might use it or we might run out of our product we're using now we'll need a backup so what do we need to do, ladies? We need to get rid of all that old makeup. Because I'm going to tell you a little story right now. When I started playing around with highlighting and contouring, highlighting and contouring a few months ago, um, I didn't have a product to highlight. I was using my bronzer to contour, but not to highlight. So I was digging through this bag one day and found some beauty control base that was very, very light. I don't know why I bought it. Um, I must have been must have been dead of the winter and I was extremely white or anemic. I don't know. So anyway, I said, oh, I can use this for, um, for, for highlighting. So I started using it and I placed it on the areas that you highlight on my forehead, my nose, my chin, and, um, you know, my cheeks. And within three or four days, I had horrible breakout all over my chin. And I'm not talking about just small areas. I'm talking about those deep ones that hurt and they don't come to the surface. Couldn't figure it out. And then one morning I was doing my highlighting and realized it's that makeup. Because that makeup's probably five years old. I don't even know if beauty control is still in business. But it's five years old, stuck in the back of my cabinet, pulled it out and started using it on my face. I can only imagine how much bacteria was in there. Because where do we store our makeup? We store it in our bathrooms, and that is where the temperature is at room, t it's at room temperature, and that is where bacteria grows the best. So don't keep old makeup. I learned that the hard way. I always knew that. In the back of my head, I thought, oh, that doesn't really apply to me because rules don't apply to us, right? But I'm definitely telling you I had a bad breakout, and when I stopped using it, breakouts went away. So what is the, what is the purpose of my little rant? Get rid of your old makeup. 
Get rid of your products that don't make you feel good. Get rid of your products that don't bring out your best features because we all want to look and feel beautiful. Because when we look and feel beautiful, that doesn't make us beautiful on the inside, but it does help us to bring our inner beauty out for the world to see. And I know since I started with Unique and I've learned on, learned how to put on makeup and how to use these different products, my self-confidence has just shot sky high. I have never been so self-confident, not even when I was 20 years old. And I'm just so thankful that I found Unique and have learned how to use these products. So over the next five days, I'm going to give you the five products that I think you need to have in your bag, in your makeup bag, to get you some of that spunk back, to get rid of your junk. I want you to make a deal with me. If you get something new, you have to throw something out. Don't replace. Don't add. Get rid of that old stuff. Do yourself that favor. All right, so I will see y'all tomorrow night, and y'all have a great night tonight. Bye, ladies.